And so I'm very connected to the Latin America community and my agency, um, Department of Social and Health Services, has used me a lot um, in contexts of diversity and um, uh, you know, I've done child protective service work and now I'm in a, I'm a um, financial worker, a welfare worker in, located in the Native Project Clinic but working for the state of Washington. And so, um, you know, I've just been very fortunate to have the connection with you and your son, Malcolm, and these directories that you've facilitated me and my agency also having access to. And, you know, I, I work with many homeless people, many um, uh, of the working poor, but uh, elderly uh, people that uh, basically, you know, we have so many destitute people in our midst. Some are housed and some aren't, but um, many of them come to see me and I have your directory and I just take them through it. I just say to the person, you know, um, Here's the fig tree directory. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Um, there's the newspaper that comes out every month. It's in the lobby. But this directory is the most amazing directory you'll ever find. It's the biggest one in the area, and it has a little bit of everything. And I just open to the table of contents. I show them the big headings. I say, so for example, you're looking for housing under human services. The tabs on the side, that's human services. And then I say, I might pick out the particular category they're looking for, take them to that page and say the subheadings are bracketed like this one right here. And then, um, you know, point out that half of it is resources for services and the other half is largely kind of life enriching or go, go beyond just the basic services to, and describe them to them. Justice, environment, arts and culture. You said that you're Native American. Here are the Native American resources. You, you said that you're kind of interested in art. Here's and, and I'll just show them all those things, and then I'll take them right to the end and show them the index. If you don't know the name of the, or if you know the name of the organization but don't know what category, you can look it up by name. And then there's this big multi-service page with all the big agencies, and lo and behold, they have a lot of sub departments that nobody really knows, and you can you might see a department that interests you. And then finally, the emergency services. So I use this with people, and I tell them it's for services, it's for enrichment, but you know you might want a job and so all these places hire people. Many of them use volunteers. You might want to volunteer as a way to get some experience to employment. And then uh, you become a resource also for your friends and family or others that you run into. Uh, make sure they know that there's a website and that on the website they can, um, you know, write from their phone if they don't want to carry the directory around. Encourage them to leave it if they're homeless with housing, couch surfing, if they think they're not going to be able to carry it with them, maybe leave it rather than dropping it in a garbage can or just uh, just getting rid of it, leave it at a house where you know there are others that need it. So my hope is that I'm one of the places in the community, like many, that um, is putting these in the hands of people that really need them, but also making sure they know how to use them and how valuable they are so that it's just not one more piece of resource information someone stuck in their hands and it gets dropped, dropped somewhere where it's not of any use to anyone. That's how I use it. I do read the fig tree. Yeah, well, you know, um, I don't read every issue. I miss some stories. Um, what the, the value of it is that it's um, faith or, um, from my perspective, you know, solidarity and, um, and all those things in, in action. And it's people really um, with, with uh, values and with uh, perspectives and with compassion acting that out and telling their stories. And, you know, I've had the opportunity to translate a couple of your stories into Spanish in the past, and um, you know there are other places for people to plug in as volunteers too along that line. So um, yeah, there's it, it's an amazing kind of outfit that you run, and uh, I love the newspaper and the, the resource directory is just mind-boggling that you guys dig in, dig out every every resource that's in the community, things that people have never heard of. Well, having just heard that this is the 35th anniversary of the organization, though the 46th anniversary of the directory, I learned from you that I probably volunteered with you in your first year in 1984 when Joe Hendricks was still around. And I just, uh, it's so amazing that you're still here and that your son and, and others are such a cl collaboration and that this event, uh, this breakfast and lunch that you do uh, 
is so well attended every year and long life to you and to the fig tree.